Thursday. You know what that means? That thing is gobbing. Ah. Morning. Hope you're all uh, doing well. Uh, it is extremely early for me. <laughs> it is six, five past six in the morning. Uh, but we are going to be going to London today. Now, our first uh, trip to London of the year. But we're going to go to a stretch of line called the Hartford Loop. Now, the original plan for today was to do every single station on the Hartford Loop. That would have meant that I did an all-nighter. Uh, unfortunately, though, uh, I couldn't put my body through it. <laughs> I'm 40 very soon. Give me a break. So, uh, instead, I reworked it. We're going to do the stations in the travel card zone on the Hartford Loop. So, Bowes Park up to Cruise Hill, I believe it is. Which is still better than nothing. Seven stations in total. And we've got LDR diverts on today. Basically, the line between Alexandra Palace and Stevenage is shut. Uh, I believe it's around the Welling Garden City area that they're doing the engineering works. So, everything is having to go via the Hartford Loop. Which is good. Because I've only done one... Uh, Hartford Loop Station 4, I believe that was Gordon Hill for LNER diverts. Well, now we're going to get to a whole load of them. So, like I said, we're just waiting for the 611, which is running a little late, and then uh, it is onwards to London. Should be a good time. Two. Huh. Fought as much. It's always a 352. Thank you. No, thank you. Right, come on, no 352, please. Oh, 354, we'll take that. That's a win. 409. And it looks like a two on the rear. Yeah, 263. Who cares? This is my seat right here. This is, I see a table right there with my name on it. <laughs> Western Railway Service for Birmingham New Street. Oh, now you get to Birmingham. This is Brussels, Virginia, and Milton Keynes Central. This train is formed of eight coaches. So now you get to Birmingham. Interesting. Have to find out. Uh, well, hopefully, that'll be my train back. Literally, I was about to walk it up here, and that uh, I was about to walk it up here, and that Enviro 400 hybrid, the stagecoach. Which one was it? By the way, 12328. That uh, just appeared. I thought it's easy. Right, we're going to go past St King's Cross here, and we're going to go to St Pancras.
in other words, him. I don't know where the eight stop. This is an eight car, unfortunately. 70024 I can use that though. Lovely. City onto another. Except this is a babby to zero city. 717020. Let's go to the Harford Loop. Oh, hello. Well, I see the funky shot already. I'm glad it is. folks here we are at Bose Park railway station it is operated by Great Northern and it is I has two platforms in an island configuration and I do believe it is the only island platform there is on the Hartford Loop please correct me if I'm wrong on that but I'm fairly confident on that um, so yeah it is the first station on the travel card on the Hartford Loop uh, we have got uh, a turn back siding here with uh, a 717 inside. I see that used uh, plenty of times today in uh, this stint, but uh, hopefully we'll uh, be getting a lot more. We'll get LNER, Grand Central, Hull, Lumo, Pemblink as well are coming this way, so all good. So here for an hour, and then we're off to our next station, which is just up the road, and I can't remember its name. Palmer's Green, I think it is.
this could be a problem station. I'm hoping it's not going to be a problem station though. Three eight seven stop. But you having a joke? Right then, folks. We've arrived at our second station of the Hartford Loop. This is Palmer's Green Station, operated by Great Northern with two platforms in a more conventional style this time, as opposed to the island platform of Bose Park in the last uh, station. Um, unfortunately, we did miss the hole. <laughs> the hole was running five minutes early, so uh, we missed the whole Paragon, unfortunately. But we did get a train we should have got at Bowes Park. Uh, the Newcastle was running about 20 minutes late, so the Newcastle essentially took its place. Um, we just had a bit of a short, sharp shower. I hope that's the only one we're going to have today. Because uh, I don't particularly fancy any more. Because uh, my laptop is in the bag and it's unprotected. Please don't rain. But uh, yeah. All good. It, it's, it's your typical suburban London station, I would say. It looks very uh, Great Northern in style, shall we say. Anyway, here for an hour, and then we're off to our next station, which I believe is Grange Park. I think. That is a gap. Ooh. Oh, there's some views to be had over here. You're still advertising 387s. Uh, right then, folks, we're now our what station? Third station. Uh, this is Grange Park, operated by Great Northern with two platforms. It's a little higher up than I thought it would be. Ooh. It's one of those, it's really high up stations that uh, can get very windy when, uh, I think you can probably hear the wind, uh, as they say. Yeah, uh, we missed the freight train, <laughs> unfortunately. 66705 uh, was running on the Master of London Gateway and uh, we passed it uh, coming here. Even if we'd gone off at the station before, which is gonna be the last station that we do today, I still would have missed it, so. Where's that plane? Right, come on folks, settle an argument for me. What's, what's the, what's the uh, run? What is it? I can't even see it up there. What's the airport they're landing into? Is it Luton? Are we on the flight path into Luton? Or something? I think we must be. 
Luton's pretty close to Stevenage. Yeah, I think this is going to be Luton. It's up there somewhere. I don't know where. Anyway, uh, here for an hour. And then on to our next station, which I believe is Cruise Hill. Yeah, Cruise Hill, because we start to go uh, back on ourselves. Oh no, King's Lynn Flyers nowhere near to be seen. Yet. Stuck in the uh, N25 over there. So it looks like it. Ah, right then folks, we're here at our fourth station and turnaround station of the day, which is Cruise Hill operated by Great Northern with two platforms and it went from being one of my favourite stations to one of the least favourite stations I'm probably going to do today. Why? Well, we had the moan about this at Garforth a couple of vlogs ago. No stand clear announcements. You have got a one well, granted, right? It's a nice long straight down here. It's a nice long straight. But you still need the stand clear announcements for the help and safety. Because you Health and safety! Oh, the sun, the sun keeps coming out and it keeps disappearing. I don't like the look of this cloud coming down away, do you? No, I don't either. I hope that. We've had been fortunate with the weather so far. We had a little sprinkle at uh, Palmer's Green. We had a little sprinkle here. But other than that, nothing serious. 
so hopefully it'll uh, carry on anyway here for another half an hour and then it's double back ourselves and Gordon Hill is next oh excuse me not had anything to drink yet Hello, Gordon Hill. Uh, oh, I tell you what, that looks like a good shot down there as well. It's all looking good here at Gordon Hill. <sighs> well, we've now arrived at our fifth station of the day. This is Gordon Hill, operated by Great Northern with three platforms, although platform three, I think, has uh, not seen use for a long while because it looks very... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not decrepit, but uh, something else. Looks very run down. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a word that sounds like run down. I can't uh, remember off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm having to be a bit uh, sneaky with this one because uh, we've got kids behind uh, the old uh, Chav gang. You know, you, you know those kids you get uh, around about the 15, 16 area. They ride their bikes up and down the platform. They think they're Billy whatever. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Society's done them wrong. Tell you, back in my day, if you did that, you got to you got to smack around the rear end or face. Then again, I'm turning forty soon. I'm old. Live with it. <laughs> so yeah, got a, only got a couple more stations to go now, uh, and the next one is literally just around the corner from Gordon Hill, which is uh, 
Enfield Chase. Again, no stand clear announcements. You need stand clear announcements. Safety, men. Safety. I keep going on about safety. I should become a health and safety person. I'm glad it's Enfield Chase. I'm glad it terminates at Orgate too. Uh, right then folks, we're here at Enfield Chase now. Operated by Great Northern, it's got two platforms to its name. And yeah, this was the station I was worrying about. But it's got announcements, so... And to be fair, the announcements which uh, stations have the announcements are very consistent. Uh, it's usually about ten, five, ten seconds before the, you see them coming around the corner, so plenty of time to get your uh, stuff out and start filming. We are drew a freight train in the next few seconds, so hopefully that will be good. I thought I saw the uh, board for it then change, but uh, obviously not. But yeah, here till uh, four o'clock, and then we're off to our final station, which I think is, is it Winchcombe Hill? Winchmore Hill, sorry, Winchmore Hill.
a tight squeeze. Very tight squeeze. Oh, this is going to be fun. Right then, folks, here we are, final station. Winchmore Hill, Great Northern operated, two platforms. And I've, I'm about spent. <laughs> Let, let's be brutally honest right now. I am about spent. I'm about wasted. Ugh. I mean, I would put the heating on, but so it tells me uh, that's not working. <laughs> yeah, it's, the temperature has dropped massively in the uh, since I got here. It feels really, really, really cold. So uh, I'm glad that I didn't do the all nighter now and done the other Hartford stations, but at the same time. I'm just glad to be getting out of here. <laughs> I really am. So, like I said, we've got about uh, 15 minutes left. And then we're going to go back into uh, St Pancras. Basically go back the way we came. But uh, I need to manipulate a way to get uh, something down because I've had nothing for 24 hours. That, that, that's, that's the thing with me. You may think to me, oh, Ian, yeah, yeah, big lad, no, whatever. I hardly eat anything. That's the problem. I mean, when I go when I go on these days out, I hardly have anything till uh, late late on. That that's me. And there's bound to be other people are like that as well. Anyway, I've rabbited. Shut up, Ian. All I've got to do is make that door. And you know what? Because I'm a jippo. 
life hack for everybody. First class at the rear of all Thameslink services are declassified. I'm a chippo. Your team's alone! I should better not say that because they're top of the Premier League at the moment. They're actually doing something! Say it sorted. The See doors it. will open automatically at the next station. Of course they will, thank you. Look here, no hands. Say no hands. Right, let's go. Do I go get this at 17.46 or do I go get dinner now I get the 18.46? I think we know the answer to that question. Oh, I must be in London. Ah. Look, Tico. Boss. Right. I don't think he's going to be doing that. <sighs> Not finished my dinner yet. Still got my hot chocolate. <sighs> but I'm looking for the 1846 Stafford. Which I think is on platform 5. Uh, if it is, it's not on there just yet. Uh, they've just announced it. There's a, well, there's, a, there's a one at the front. There's a one or a three at the front. I want it. Give me, 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 give me. I think I've. Where's the crush? Shit. <laughs> you have never seen someone run before in your life. Because I want a table. I'd show behind you, but it's not a pleasant sight. <laughs> 351, 24, 352, 33. Oh, it's a stampede! It's a stampede! <laughs> Get on it quick! Well, if no one's uh, listening, just leaving Litchfield Trent Valley, and uh, I think we'll uh, we'll call it an episode here. What a fantastic day on the. Good evening, everyone. The next station is Rootsfield Trent Valley. For any customers wishing to leave the service at Rootsfield Trent Valley due to the short platform, you must be in the front four coaches of this eight-coach train. Surely an automated message will place in the rear four coaches. If you hear this message and you want to get off at Rooshi Tram Valley, you need to move forward so you're no longer in the parts of the train with the green seats, but in the parts of the train with the blue grey seats. Once again, if you want to get off at Rooshi Tram Valley, you need to be in the parts of the train with the blue grey seats. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Hartford Loop Diver is my first experience of a proper and, my God, blown away. We were getting some absolutely fantastic shots. Um, Bose Park was just giving shots out left, right and centre. Can't uh, complain about it. If, if I had some advice for if they ever do the half, well, do the, probably do them again next year now. Do them. Just go. Just go. P take your pick of the stations and just go. That's uh, what I say to you. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Next up for us, we're going to be joined by an old friend. Uh, and we are going to be seeing 
a couple of Steam Locos. A couple of Steam Locos I'm looking forward to seeing together. I've called these two to do work together for a long time and we're going to finally get it. So, I hope, uh, and we're going to get him, hopefully, through a very well-known station. So, uh, thank you guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, channels should be over here. Playlists should be over, should be there. And there might be a video there, go check that video out. That one right there. You see that out there? That's, my finger's probably covering up. Go check it out. But, uh, in the meantime, thank you all, hope you enjoyed. Thanks to the channel members as well. And we'll see you all next time. Bye!